Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of How to Become Myself, a Japanese drama from 2007 that was directed by Jun Ichikawa, another director who needs a little bit more love online. Now a few of my favorites from Ichikawa are Tokyo Marigold, Tony Takatani, and Dying at a Hospital. But, How to Become Myself just might be my personal favorite from his filmography, so I really wanted to review it. Our main character is a schoolgirl by the name of Juri, played by Riko Narumi, who secretly admires another girl named Kanako, played by Atsuko Meida, who is popular in their class. At home, Juri acts the part of an ideal daughter for her parents because she wants them to stop fighting every day and be loving to each other again. Meanwhile, for no apparent reason, Kanako finds her position in class suddenly plummeting, from that of the popular girl to the girl that everybody ignores. So How to Become Myself is another one of those movies that I've been wanting to cover on this channel for a number of years. I don't think I've even mentioned it much in any of my list videos either, so it's time to talk about it. Very impressive coming-of-age film. It explores friendship social dynamics in school, the pressures of schooling, like taking entrance exams and stuff like that, and dysfunctional family units. And I think the two main dilemmas are that our lead character is dealing with parents whose marriage is on the rocks, and our supporting character is dealing with this odd decline in popularity at school. In regard to the former, like Jury also has a role change in the family unit at one point in the film, which causes her some additional concern, so she's having a lot of family issues. And in regard to the latter conflict, that odd shift in Kaneko's status at school actually occurs off-screen, in between semesters. And that really shows the, the fragility of these types of relationships, you know, in that setting. And, our, and the friendship of these two girls is kind of the element that ties all of this stuff together. The script writing is legitimately good. Now, <clears throat> the narration is effective, and the dialogue-heavy scenes are surprisingly psychological in how the girls talk to each other. You know, these discussions are very observational, very inward-looking. It's almost as if these girls are, like, performing a psychiatric study of themselves, hence the title of the film, How to Become Myself. It's very different from, like, your everyday teen movie for that aspect alone. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why it's interesting to watch. You know, I'm not sure how many teens in real life would talk like this, but regardless, um, you might even consider it to be like a, like an outward communication of their inward thoughts or something like that. But it's that's kind of what makes this movie special, in my opinion. In addition, the performances are very good. There are some really good scenes during the second half in particular that I thought were, were pretty dramatically impactful. You know, the film has a very gripping rhythm and style to it. Like I said, I, I really like this director. I think he needs more exposure in the West. There are some split screens that they use, some really nice tracking shots, some text that's used on screen. And as I mentioned before, I think Juni Chikawa um, kind of does need more exposure. Hopefully some of his movies can get some Blu-ray releases in the future. For now, however... You can watch How to Become Myself on YouTube with subtitles. So check this one out and let me know what you think. It's good stuff. And as always, I will see you next time.